Welcome to America 2024, everybody. We're in Harley's demo tent today, and we are taking out the new 2024 Harley Tri-Glide Ultra. This is their touring trike. We've got the tour pack on the back, Milwaukee 8 114 engine. I'm going to go over all the great features of this trike, do a walk around, and show you guys everything you need to know about the Harley Tri-Glide Ultra. Let's get started. So if you guys have been around my channel, you know there's certain criteria by which I judge motorcycles. We're going to apply that same criteria to the trike, with the exception of handling. We will do something a little bit different there. But as far as comfort goes, if you're on a trike, you're probably here for the comfort, as well as possibly the uh, stability, but a trike is super comfortable. The Harley Tri-Glide Ultra is no exception. Hey, there's another guy on a Harley Tri-Glide Ultra back there. So this motorcycle is very comfortable. We have a very upright riding position, a nice pullback to the handlebars, and good positioning for the floorboards. My knees are at a comfortable, slightly relaxed 90, just a little bit forward. I feel like I'm sitting just a little bit up and close on the tank. But the riding position overall, we're gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for comfort. You could sit here all day and be very, very, very comfortable. The second component of comfort is the seat. If a bike isn't comfortable, you're not going to want to ride it, and the seat is usually the first thing people notice for comfort. The seat on this trike, very, very comfortable. Obviously, it's set up for two up, and there is a rider backrest available that is not installed. But with that backrest in here, you're basically riding in a lazy boy, guys. Incredibly comfortable seat. I'm gonna give for a stock seat. This is high honors because I'm usually not a fan of stock seats. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten on that seat. That is high honors from me when it comes to stock seating, guys. Overall, for comfort between the riding position and the seat, we're gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely perfect comfort. You can ride this back and forth across the country without a second thought. One last thing I'm gonna note about comfort for you guys, this windshield is doing a very nice job of keeping all the wind going over my head. I'm not a particularly tall dude, I'm only five foot eight, but even still, I'm not getting any wind buffeting on my helmet, so this windshield's doing a nice job. Just wanted to throw that out there. Now that we're on the highway, Let's talk about power. We have the Milwaukee 8 114 engine in here. Odds are they may be putting the new Milwaukee 8 117 in here next year, but we have yet to see that. On the 2024, got the 114. Lots of power. We're currently on the highway doing just over 70 and we're in fifth gear. I'm going to uh, change lanes here. Get a little bit of speed for you guys. This is a lot of weight to pull. We've got extra stuff on here like the trunk, the rear seating, the sound system, the reverse motor that we've got installed on here. So all that weight still up to 100 easily on the highway. Lots of power out of that Milwaukee 8 114 engine. Now let's talk about engine braking on the Milwaukee 8 114. Very smooth on the motorcycles. I expect nothing different out of the trike. Very smooth engine braking. For power, we're gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10. Now, to my knowledge, and I will double check this for you guys. If I'm wrong, I'll tell you so on the screen. But to my knowledge, there are no riding modes for the trike. So just something to be aware of. It's not like the other Milwaukee 8 engines on the motorcycles. You don't have the different riding modes. 
All right, we're in neutral. We're going to apply down here the parking brake. We're going to stop the motor, turn the bike off, the trike rather, and hop off and show you guys the beautiful Triglide Ultra. So let's talk about that comfortable seat. Super duper comfortable, comes up your back. Again, there's an option for a rider backrest here. Does not have that installed. Passenger has some handholds built in, as well as surround audio for passenger. You have audio up front. Passenger has heated gear plug in back here in the seat. And rider does right here off the center console. Walking around the front, you can see that beautiful from the side here, the Milwaukee 814. Tri-Glide branding on the fender classic harley front look bat wing fairing nice closeouts for your legs with adjustable ventilation for hot days you see you can open and close these vents down here where's the there it is so you can kick that with your foot open and closed if you need more ventilation on your legs for the passenger instead of pegs this is a touring trike so we've got floorboards more comfortable more positions for your feet much nicer for your passenger as far as storage is concerned this is where trikes really shine in my opinion nice top trunk here plenty of room to put your clothes for a couple days and you can also get a rack for the top of this like they have on uh, the road glides or touring motorcycles so a luggage rack is an extra option no saddlebags, but you do have a trunk. This is where it shines, personally, for me. Look at the storage you have in there. If I can find the exact information on this trunk, as far as, you know, gallons, liters, however they measure their storage and volume, I will put that on the screen for you guys. They weren't exactly sure at the demo tent, but I will put that on the screen if I can find the information for you. Ultimate cross-country touring machine. If you want comfort, storage, and of course, with the power, as we demonstrate on the highway, you don't have to go 100 miles an hour, and you probably shouldn't, and I probably shouldn't either. However, you can put a tow hitch on here, pull a trailer, knowing that you have plenty of power. Speaking of power and torque, let's talk a little bit about the features for safety on this. Harley calls it Reflex Linked Braking System. So their ABS is linked between front and rear. They also have traction control, Differential between the two rear wheels, so if they detect any slip, uh, it will adjust the torque to the wheels independently to help with traction control. Then they also have something called drag torque slip control. I think I got that right. If not, I'll correct myself up there on the screen. So two different types of traction control at work, plus ABS. So lots of extra safety features added to the bike by Harley, or the trike rather. Uh, to make sure you guys are safe out there on the roads. Going to go ahead and turn the bike on here. Show you guys the infotainment system. So up front, hopefully you guys can see this. I'll try to keep my helmet in the way and shade the screen. Navigation is going to take just a moment to load. So we have Bluetooth and obviously FM audio. I don't think that would be the number one thing they'd judge you about. I know. Nice surround sound audio between the two front and rear speakers. Obviously Bluetooth enabled as well. Let's see if our navigation is ready. It is, so we've got built-in navigation. And if we go back here, if we paired a phone, you'd have your phone and you could make calls, see messages, stuff like that. And paired to a headset, you can also do voice control. You have voice control activation over here on your handlebar. If you want to disengage traction control, maybe you get off-road and you're in the grass and you're trying to get up uh, a grassy hill to park this thing at an event or something you can disengage traction control uh, if necessary but it will alert you to that you never really want to turn that off for storage up front we do have one little storage area here it's got a nice slot for your phone with a plug so you can either update the system or plug your phone in and charge while riding let's go ahead and start the bike show you guys one more awesome feature that I love about big trikes or even motorcycles like the Goldwing. We have reverse. So we're in neutral. I'm going to hold the starter and reverse switch and you guys will see the R light up over here. Alright, so now the reverse is enabled. It comes off of 
the uh, electric starter motor so you don't want to use it for long extended periods of time but if you press and hold it you got to be ready because it will jerk you back pretty quick apply braking as you normally would when you're ready to stop gonna pull the clutch in shift into first automatically takes us out of reverse and we are good to go all right we got a couple Harleys coming here nobody coming the other way now we're getting into the spot where trikes lag behind a bit and that is handling we're up in the twisties we're going to discuss handling instead of counter steering you're going to push opposite hand basically just pull that bike through the turn and make the nose wheel go where you want to go if you're new to the motorcycling world and you have no idea what i'm talking about counter steering you basically push into the turn on the handlebars and the wheel goes the opposite direction of the turn and that's how you lean a bike with a trike it's more like steering an atv or a snowmobile trikes aren't exactly my thing you know but if i got to the point where i needed one and i wasn't stable on two wheels anymore i just needed to go to a trike if it got me out on the road i would absolutely go up to something like this as it stands i like leaning a motorcycle over but i know there's some of you out here who prefer a trike so as far as the tri-glide goes i'm not saying it's at the top of the pack as far as handling that usually goes to uh, trike systems if you want to call them a trike some people don't with the two wheels in the front and one in the back an example of that would be the can-am spider one wheel in the front two in the back uh, your handling is not the greatest but it's not bad it's simply not as sporty as a motorcycle you can't take a turn very quickly the inertia doesn't put you down into the seat like it does on a motorcycle it throws you to the outside of the turn so you just need to have good positive control of your seating position and don't take the turns too fast of course if you're on a trike odds are you're probably not trying to speed across the country and take on you know tail of the dragon at 70 miles an hour you're there for the comfort you're there to enjoy the ride you're there to not slide and drop a bike so it has its advantages but if you're thinking of going from a motorcycle to a trike or maybe you're getting into motorcycling to begin with and you're considering a trike instead just something to keep in mind you may enjoy a motorcycle more so try them both overall for handling for a trike i am not comparing this to to motorcycles because there is no comparison so I'm not judging by the same criteria I do the motorcycles on my channel compared to other trikes I have ridden on the market I would give the handling of the Harley Tri-Glide Ultra an 8 out of 10 there's room for improvement Harley has done some improvement in the handling of their motorcycles in recent years and I'm hoping that in the near future that will come to their trike line as well as far as style and looks go, that's going to be subjective to everybody. But I think you guys got a decent look at the motorcycle back there. It's a very classic looking Harley. They do have a new Road Glide trike. Unfortunately, they did not bring it to the demo days here at Americade. So, not able to compare those two for you. But there is another option available. It's called the, the Road Glide trike or the Road trike. And it's something that you may want to consider as another trike option from Harley with a slightly different, more modern front profile. It looks basically just like the front of a Road Glide. They stole the front of that and put it on a trike. If you prefer the classic Harley look, then the Tri Glide Ultra that I'm on right now would be the trike for you. If you prefer a trike without the luggage rack and the tour pack, then the Harley Freewheeler might be a better option for you. It also lacks the front fairing, so it's open cockpit in front. You'll take more wind to the face and chest, but it gives you more of that open, free feeling like an old school motorcycle. As far as stability goes, going through the corners, if that's something you're ever worried about on a trike, this does feel very stable. Uh, I wouldn't be worried about a slightly higher center of gravity. The bike doesn't feel tippy at all to me. It feels very good. They did their best to keep the center of gravity low so it doesn't feel uh, tippy if you're going through a corner uh, just a little bit quick. 
If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will do my best to answer all of those for you guys. I love helping you guys out. Anything I can do to help get you on two wheels, I will do my darndest and my best to make it happen for you. I will try to answer any and all questions and comments you guys have. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful or helpful in any way, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps me crack the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to more people who are interested in learning about these trikes and motorcycles. If you're new here and you feel I've earned it, please subscribe to the channel. It's the big red button. Click the bell icon next to it, and that'll give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. I've done so many test ride videos here at Americade this week. There's going to be a lot of great content coming, so make sure you click that bell icon to stay notified. I've been on Indian, Harley, Kawasaki, Honda. I've got a lot of great videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on. I will catch you all in my next video from Americade 2024. Deuces.